Alright, alright, alright. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Diamond in the Rough. We've got an awesome Terran vs Protoss match here and I know it is going to be a good match because Rough recently keeps blowing my mind with his ridiculous plays against Protoss. He's been experimenting with a whole bunch of different things but especially the ghost usage has been out of this world. He's been doing all sorts of weird nuke busts and things and uh, I'm sure he's got something interesting in store for us here. In the top left, in the Psystorm Gaming Colors, it is Rough. And in the bottom right, in the blue, his opponent, it is Shinobi. He's gonna be trying to get for that gateway pile on Cybercore to wall off the Reaper ledge. Something you normally don't need to worry about with Rough because he tends to not build many Reapers. He's more of a Marauder guy, a Ghost guy. Does like to do those sorts of things. And uh, yeah, he's not really the guy I expect to be doing um, to be doing that sort of stuff. But you never know. He's actually not taken a gas yet, which is super rare. Normally it's gas first for rough, sometimes barracks gas. But to not have a gas yet is crazy. He's actually doing an old school Wings of Liberty Heart of the Swarm build. Just one barracks into command center. That's an 18 command center there. Wow, this is going to be a very economic build. A big change up here for Ruff. No gas even started just yet. Of course, saving his minerals to go uh, for a orbital. He's going to go, yeah, 19 orbital plus marine. And uh, wow, he's even going to scout. This is a different Ruff. I always complain about Ruff's economy buildup being like the thing that kind of holds him back and how if he had like a follow-up plan behind a lot of his pushes where he just like dropped a few command centers and queued up a few more SCBs, he'd always have a better follow-up. You know, like I'm always like, yeah, if only he just did pro gamer things, right? Which kind of undermines the whole point of how Ruff plays, right? Which is he focuses ultra hard on the details of getting up those micro heavy units and then using them. But uh, I, I love that this is a departure and that he is mixing it up and saying, hey, let's just rush to two base economy. I've got extra minerals because I delayed my gas. So I get a bunker up, just building two, three, maybe four Marines straight away. He does take double gas behind that. So we can still get into his tech without too much delay. Uh, what's interesting is there is a little bit of a supply block on 23, but I actually think that's on purpose. So I believe Ruff planned that to be there because he knows this command center is going to kick in. And that gives him a massive amount of supply. So as soon as that kicks in, you get your 14 supply from it. 14? 15? I don't know. However much. Uh, 15 supply. 15 supply from the command center. Uh, basically, it's as much as two depots, which means he doesn't need to build a command center for a long time. Now, his SCV went in. It didn't see a lot. Did the Adept kill it? No, neither player's actually lost anything. But he didn't really bother scouting for anything. He was like, hey, you've got a Nexus. That's all I really care about. You're not one basing me. That's all I was going to react to. And he's going to go for a reactor, a factory, rallying down to that low ground and building SCVs. So nice economic start here for Ruff. He's going to go for a second factory right away, back into the old classic Mechios. He's uh, obviously very experienced with Mech. Even against Protoss, the race which... Uh, the charge lot usually is your big problem as a mech player because basically there's something about fast melee units that are just cheap that are so good against tanks because tanks are long range splash damage units so they want to fight against slow units that clump up a lot and take a while to close the distance and things like charge lots and zerglings are big problems for siege tanks now the reason mech is kind of better against zerg than against protoss is obviously the, the Zerglings get messed up by Hellions and Hellbats because they're a little 35 hit point unit. The Zealot, though, is a 150 hit point unit. So does it struggle against Hellions and Widowmines? Yeah, but not as fragile as the Zergling. You need a lot of Hellions, a lot of Widowmines before you can properly deal with it. So those Zealots just cause a big problem where I feel like against Zerg, sometimes just a few Hellions or Hellbats can kind of be like, yeah, Zerglings can't touch me. Against the Protoss, you need a lot more anti-zealot to protect your siege tanks. Now, that being said, all we're seeing is three Hellions being built at a time right now at a starport building a Raven. So, Ruff's going to get detection with the Raven, protect him against DTs, hunt down observers potentially, maybe do some auto-turret harass, and he's just going to go a whole surprising mass of Hellions. So, this is what he needed this big mineral income for. All these SCVs that he built up early was so that he could get a mass of Hellions out because Hellions only take 21 seconds to build. So that means each factory can do almost three cycles a minute. And if this one's building almost six a minute, that's building almost three minutes. Nine Hellions a minute. You build these for two minutes, that's 18 Hellions. I mean, let's say 16 because, you know, I was overestimating that a little. 16 Hellions in two minutes is a crazy amount of run-by potential as Ruff builds a third factory. 
getting a ghost academy there. Oh, so he's going to actually land a tech lab and try to get some ghosts out as well. Very cute. Shinobi taking a really quick third base, going for Blink here. Forge on the way. Interestingly, that there's a, there's a Stargate, but it hasn't really done anything yet. Like, hasn't gone to do any pressure. And that's a real shame because Shinobi, Stalkers are great against everything Ruff's doing. As long as Shinobi has enough Stalkers, Shinobi will be completely fine. Shield Battery at the natural, Shield Battery at the third. Yeah, that Oracle's going to go across. Doesn't want to lose this, but if he can scout the Mass Hellion and just double down on the Stalker production for a while, keep himself safe, he should be good. Ruff, on the other hand, does not have too many add-ons. It was just the single Raven. We've got a nuke on the... Oh, so he is going to do his... He's looking to do his nuke bus build. We've seen him do this before where he just nukes their wall and then the Hellions jump on top, right? But I don't know if this is early enough. He's going to have so many Hellions, though. What the heck? He's at 16 Hellions right now. He's got them building four at a time. And he's even building a third on location. So he's going to have an economic follow-up. 16 Hellions, a Ghost, a Raven... Uh, that, uh, the nuke's done. The armory's there. Oracle's going to come on in. There's nothing that shoots up. Dude, there's four marines in the bunker, and that's it. That Oracle could do so much damage. It did deny the SCV on the third. Hopefully, Ruff does send a new one out. Ruff's going to try and dive in with his Hellions, but that's a decent Stalker count. That's 10 Stalkers there. 11 Stalkers. Ooh, the Raven, the Raven. Oh, no, he loses his Raven. EMP goes down, though, and anti-armor missile. And oh, my gosh, the splash damage is out of this world. But the Hellion's unable to pursue into that mineral line. That Oracle could do a lot of damage as well. It's going to turn on that laser beam. But a lot of probes going to go down before that work gets done. That whole mineral line gets eviscerated. And a lot of the Stalkers going down as well. The Ghost finally falls. But look at the way that Hellion splash stacks up. Ruff wisely going to pull back. The tail end of that fight going very poor, I think. If he stayed a little bit longer, the Oracle was going to kill a lot of Hellions. As was that next Stalker weapon. But he clears a mineral line there, which is not bad. What was that? 10? 10 workers definitely wish he got the extra four or five still on that mineral line but it'll do for now oh he didn't send his scv to his third behind it ah uh, no i was talking about it at the start of the game i was like man if ruff could just always make sure he queues up some more scvs and builds a command center this time he did have a command center but it got denied as he was moving out and he never fixed it oh no Oh, once again, it gets delayed here. Shinobi getting right in on Ruff's economy, but has he overextended? There's no warp in point here. These Stalkers are just rallying across the map, and that EMP, dude, once they get EMP, the Stalkers' health is halved, and these Hellions are getting pretty good splash damage, dude. They are actually doing quite nice. The Hellions are cheaper than the Stalkers significantly. The Stalkers do not do bonus damage against those light units. Wisely pulling back, though. He doesn't have many Hellions left. He does not want to lose that command, and he needs to get more resources out here right now. A Ghost does join the battle. Maybe an EMP on these four Stalkers changes things he hits three of them that'll do the raven coming forward as well a replacement raven is here and with no reinforce these stalkers getting overwhelmed oh my god it's just a matter of numbers in these fights ruff has just outnumbered him a little bit more and protoss is a really good economy and did slow down ruff's economy but now needs to double down on the army and catch back up in that regard and is going to try to do it i think we got charge no charge yet but he's going up to eight gateways does have plus two attack on the way. Has a fourth base. Building some cannons and batteries. Oracle does come in and kills the SCV on the command center again. Ruff's command center has been building for about three minutes right now. And it's only just past halfway done. Ruff has got to be super triggered at this point. He had to use an auto turret to defend that. He has almost nothing that shoots up. He's going to have to literally finish building the turret before he can even protect this SCV. Oh, it's a nightmare for Ruff who is going to try to put down some more factories. He's swapping into tank production. Second armory on the way in the back, so he's going to try and go double upgrades. The Stalker's coming in. Not again! Don't lose the, the SCV! The SCV gets ignored as the fight escalates. A Stalker or two goes down, and Shinobi may be, maybe being a little too aggressive there. He's got an insanely good economy behind this. But uh, no real follow-up. It's just Stalkers for now. Stalkers do good versus the Hellions, but they'll do very badly versus Siege Tanks, right? If you can catch them on Siege, the Stalkers do just fine. But uh, if not, then no. So Shinobi's just going to hide these Stalkers down here in the bottom. And is just making more Stalkers and more probes. Despite being oversaturated on four bases already, doesn't really have that many gases. So this Protoss player Shinobi is like, I am going to make more Stalkers than you've ever seen before. Dude, you know, yeah, you know, Creep by Radiohead, that's my theme song, you know? I just, I just make an army of stalkers. You know, stalkers are meant to be these, like, lone dogs out there in the middle of nowhere. You know, just, just no friends, isolated weirdos and shit. Well, this is an army of stalkers. These are the creepiest weirdos out there. These guys are going to just 
follow. They're going to try and teleport on the siege tanks when they're not looking. Steal their, steal their spare parts and sniff them. You know, it's going to get weird and creepy. That's a lot of tanks, though. You don't want to... You, you, you saw there was mass tank there. You don't want to... What is this, Protoss? Okay. <laughs> Fifth base is on the way. Second, Robo. Robo Bay. I've talked a lot in the past about how if a Protoss player is willing to go 85-90 probes, they shouldn't really lose to a mech player on three base ever. But Ruff is what we call a wizard. I will not doubt him. As much as in terms of scale he's falling behind, he's got EMP. He's got Raven. He's got a core of siege tanks. He's adding Thors in there. If he just builds the elite, awesome maxed army, I mean, right now there's only Stalkers. There's nothing else. So Shinobi's going to try to buy time with Disruptors as well, but he's very slow into that swap. He's trying to go for Stargates. Oh my god, he's going straight for a four Stargate Fleet Beak, trans Fleet Beak in transition. I think realizing that Ruff isn't moving out, is like, oh, this game's going to go late. So it's Chrono Boosting plus one air. Chrono Boosting sh uh, Plasma Shields as well. Ruff's going to make Hellbats much tankier there. He's stuck on three base for now. He's got his 2-1 upgrades that are about to finish up here. He's also got the Radius of the Sun upgrade on the Ghost that will kick in. That'll allow their EMPs to be huge. Oh, the Stalkers come in here. They're going after the Thor. What an odd choice. Oh, because he's going Carriers. Oh, maybe that's a bit of a tell, actually. That's a bit of a tell because he's going to try and go Stargate Carrier Tempest behind this. He, there's no units that shoot up in that army except the Thor. So he goes for the Thor. The Stalkers are going to go in and do big damage now, though. Oh, this is not a good fight for these SCVs. They're taking big damage. Ruff is beelining across the map, though. These Stalkers, it's still just Stalkers. <laughs> No, these Stalkers are not doing well at all. No Disruptors got built. No Stargate units got built. Shinobi's desperately trying to pull him back with these these SCVs. Uh, these Stalkers killing SCVs, but, but he's not being distracted. Carriers power up now for Shinobi, but I don't know if, if there's enough money in the bank to go Carriers. I guess if he just gives this base up, he can't really lose this one, though. He's got one on the right. He could take gases there. Stalkers on the other side of the map do go down. They killed 25 total workers this game, so probably about 15 workers went down there, maybe a few more. Is that going to be enough, though? I mean, right now, Zealots are building. There's no charge. So Shinobi is on just Stalkers and a couple of Zealots. That's got amazing upgrades coming in, but the gas count is a bit low. This gas never got taken. Oh, no. The gas in the natural never got taken. That gas actually only recently got taken as well. That's why there's so little gas in the bank. Shinobi built a giant mineral income, but doesn't have the gas income, and has nothing to spend those minerals on. This base is going to go down as well. Hasn't taken gases on the other side. Shinobi does a stasis travel zone. Shinobi is doing all these desperate maneuvers to distract Ruff, but Ruff doesn't care. He's just completely ignoring his base. He's like, I'm just going to kill you with my army. Another stasis trap does trap these workers. I mean, Ruff's economy is slowing down, but how are you ever going to deal with this army? That's slow zealots. Oh my god, the first three carriers are out. Okay, what's here that shoots up? One Thor, four ghosts, and a Viking. Oh, okay, that's... Even 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 with, you know, plus one carriers, which are pretty damn weak, I don't think this works out for Ruff. The ghosts actually kill interceptors pretty quick, funnily enough. Uh, maybe with some auto turrets all over them, he could take them down. The Thor, obviously, can probably kill two of these carriers if it focus fires them. But right now, it's shooting interceptors. He does use an interference matrix on one of those carriers. The Hellbats roasting the Zealots. Another interference matrix goes down. The tanks are blasting this army right now. Ruff's doing a lot of damage. But remember, he's only on three bases. Buying this on 43 SCVs. He needs to do a lot more. He's losing his anti-air. I think he realizes that Thor is not going to be enough. He's got to get more damage done. He's got to do more damage. Those carriers, it's only a matter of time. He's got to kill a lot of probes and a base or two here. He does try to do that. Oh, Thor cannot quite kill the carrier. The ghost's going to go down. The raven's going to go down. It's only a matter of time now until these tanks fall. The carrier's taking a while to get in the fight for Shinobi. He does lose the nexus and a lot of probes on that base. And the stalkers do go in and get themselves killed. The carriers are going to clean this up, but... Was this enough damage? Shinobi has a giant carrier fleet up right now. Hasn't taken any more gases or retaken bases. Now, does he go for a counter all in or does he try to rebuild? His mineral count's not that high. His worker count kind of sucks. Shinobi is going to retake a nexus there. Isn't using the nexus on the right side still. He's going to move to that left side. Carriers and stalkers. Going to try to hunt this army down. Ruff is swapping into mass Thor and wisely so. He's got two Thors out. He's building them three at a time. Five Thors easily beat six carriers the carriers can maybe do it if they've got like zealots or disruptors jumping on the thors at the same time um disruptors very good versus thors but not that much economy shinobi's gonna try to rebuild the economy so this is gonna be like a counter poke but it's still making zealots behind there's still no charge for those zealots okay the carrier's coming forward though 
If they just stand and fight the Thors, it won't be good. They've got to just pick off units, run away. They've got to run away. Shinobi, you got to get out of there, buddy. Oh, Shinobi, run, run, run. Don't lose that carrier. Okay, Shinobi with a good pullback. Losing a few interceptors is fine. Oh, Shinobi goes in. Crazy. You mad lad. Get out of there. Thors are the natural predator of the carrier, but they're not mobile. So as long as the carriers just keep counterattacking. Wait, he's actually trying to fight the Thors. He's trying to use the range of the carriers to kind of kite them. He did almost kill one. But he, I, I think right now that's a crazy... He's still he's doubling down on carriers against a guy who's already building Thors. Carriers don't beat Thors. Shinobi, have you not played in the last year? That, not anymore. Not anymore. They, I don't know if they ever did, but they definitely don't now. Oh, one carrier falls. Another carrier falls. Shinobi's trying to break him with this carrier army. He's trying to pull out a Thor range. Thors have 11 range of those Punisher cannons. They're called Punisher cannons for a reason. They punish you. They land with the power of Hellfire. That means salty, salty fucking brimstone rubbed into your wounds is what that feels like. You cannot be going mass carrier against Thors. Oh my god, his Twilight died in the natural earlier, so he's had to rebuild that. I think he wants to go charge zealots with this, but he can't actually get it. Yeah, charge starts up. He had to rebuild. Oh my god, and Shinobi, if he kept the carriers alive, when this push comes, he could counterattack and force the Thors home. But because he threw his army away, now he's forced to try and defend his economy from this. And look at that Azodin nuke. That's very cute there. Very cute. I'm not sure if Shinobi's seen that. Oh, he should. It's pretty, pretty friggin' obvious. Big old red laser dot over there. I don't think that'll clip anything. Unless Shinobi... No, 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 no. Okay, Shinobi does pull back there. He's gonna lose a few probes up yet. I don't think Shinobi... <laughs> Thor's kicked the shit out of carries. Ruff is like, oh man, I gotta do this with Thor's. Like, you know, this is a slow army. It's weak to a lot of other things. But the Protoss just keeps making carriers right now. That's not the right thing. This is the right move. Double Nexus on the left side of the map. Shinobi, that's a big brain maneuver over there. Just expand away. Once the charge is up, that's going to be really good. But are there Hellbats? There's one Blue Flame Hellbat in there with 2-2. Two, two. There are more Ghosts being added in. Ruff does have a fourth base. Well done by him. And he's adding plus three armor. That's really important. Those armor upgrades ruin the carriers because their interceptors attack twice. So if you can get plus three armor, that means you'll have four armor on the carriers. The carriers will have plus two attack by then. So they'll be doing two seven damage attacks. Each one minus four. So two three damage attacks. They do very little. I mean, yes, uh, it kind of cancels out, right? Because they get plus a damage on each attack. So as long as the upgrades are even, it doesn't matter. But because the armor upgrades are going to be staying one ahead, it's boom, boom. It's it's lowering their, their damage by two, right? Rather than doing 12 at the moment, they've got three, you know, three armor. It's down to six damage total from those two shots. And uh, yeah, that's that's not good, man. That is not good. Robo is rebuilding now. Double Robo. Immortals are amazing versus, versus uh, tanks. They're not bad versus Thors as well, but you kind of need to have, because the Thors have longer range by one, the Immortals kind of need to be spread out and come in with a bit of an arc. Zealots are pretty good versus this army. As, oh, but the hell, that's being added in. Yeah, Ruff's so smart. He knows what the weakness is of this. Honestly, Disruptors. I, I think Disruptors is the only way that, that Shinobi could probably take that down at this point. But it's so far away after losing the tech. So these Robos needs to immediately put down a Robo Bay and start that stuff. But I, I think Shinobi has been so focused on carrier production. And the thing is, the carrier is an addictive drug. Because the carrier beats most things. And it has very specific counters. Like, oh, they came in with Mass Corruptor and killed them. Oh, they came in with Mass Thor and just killed them. So a lot of the time you can win by just always focusing 99% on carriers. And maybe adding some other units as needed. But against someone like Ruff, who's like, I am going to focus everything on hard countering that unit, and I know the counter, you're in trouble. And, oh, his Robo Base survived from earlier. Oh, so he's actually strained to disruptor production. This is it. This is what Shinobi needs. But Shinobi can't fight right now. Shinobi, no, 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 you got to give these bases up, buddy. Shinobi has already shown a very low uh, <laughs> fight IQ for, for taking fights against Mass Thor with carries. Not like this, Shinobi. Get I like the way Shinobi's hanging out and, and threatening. But if Shinobi actually commits, it's going to be an absolute disaster. Ruff's like, please commit. Please come fight me. Please come fight me. Come fight into my, my big blob of Thors. Please do that. Disruptors are here. They could really be game changers. Let's see how well Shinobi does. Shinobi's not going to change everything with just two disruptor shots. It throws them both out at once a little early. I mean, wise choice. Pull the probes away. Pull back. Pull back. Get out of there. Shinobi. Ah, oh, loses a Thor on the retreat. Uh, a carry on the retreat. He's going to lose a second one as well. A third one almost goes down you got to be so careful. 
with this sort of army, but there's no real answer to the Disruptors. So as four Disruptors come out, I think Shinobi, yeah, yeah, Shinobi can throw some big balls onto this army, and I'll tell you what, Ruff will not enjoy that one little bit. But, oh, big Disruptor shots take out so many Thors. But Shinobi's once again needs a bit of time for those Disruptors to refill. I, I, he's done a lot of damage. Maybe he can take this fight, but a lot of his army's EMP'd. The carriers are going to take massive damage. There's a lot of Zealots here. The carriers, though, are getting blasted. You've got to be careful losing those carriers. Most of them get shot down. Two of them get out. The Zealots doing well. Oh, the focus fire on the Disruptors. Rough. Big Brain focuses on the Disruptors. He misclicked there and actually got a Stalker accidentally, but... The Zealots do hold a Shinobi. I thought he was making the worst decisions there. I thought he was done. I actually thought Shinobi was done. I was like, man, he's, he's not figuring it out. Like, he took a few bad fights with carriers. This guy doesn't know how to deal with Thors. Okay, like, Shinobi's maybe not the, maybe not the, uh, hasn't, hasn't dealt with someone playing Mass Thor before. Doesn't know how to do it. But this is actually great. Shinobi's in an awesome position now. There's Thors trapped down there. This army's going to counterattack. I mean, what, what do you have? A couple Thors. You're trying to build mass Widow Mine. How do you hang on here as Ruff? He's got some turrets. He's actually, he's got a lot of turrets. He's got some wall offs that are buying him time. Thors of Ruff are going to go for a counterattack, funnily enough. This planetary should be able to beat off those Zealots. Remember that it's Ruff. So he's got building armor. He's got plus two building armor. Widow Mines are going to burrow there. Very good versus Interceptors. Very good versus Zealots as well. You don't really want them all to fire right now. And the SCV is trying to repair. He's trying to hold him back. Thor's coming down. They're going to actually start breaking through that base, putting pressure on Shinobi. Shinobi, I think, could have just attacked in with the Zealots and got into these bases, but is, is for some reason not going through the middle. And he's trying to break the wall, but is afraid of doing it. The Thors are actually getting in there. They're killing probes right now. Rough with a two Gundam run by. Like, what the hell? He's got two bloody Thors that have walked across the map, and he's forced the whole army to recall. Right when he had no army, Ruff's like literally just bought himself a chance pretty bad chance still he's got money in the bank but rough is pretty screwed i think he loses that planetary now he's gonna try to bring widow mines to oh you don't want to lose all these scvs dude oh no i think shinobi can just roll that use disruptors to clear the repairing scvs is there enough damage oh he's using the disruptors to kill the widow mines two more widow mines there the zealots go down actually i not be able to take this out what's his damage output he's got oh he's got a lot of interceptors They've got plus two, but the, the planetary arbor really helping out. Oh my god, the turret's going to finish. There's, there's almost no units on the ground. The stalkers and zealots are all dying. The sentry's going to die as well. But it's all about the carriers right now. This will go down eventually. He's got to shift click those SCVs that are repairing right now. This is actually taking so long. It is going to go down, but it's taking enough time that Ruff will be able to regrow his army to a decent size. The widow mine fires on the carrier. Wouldn't that be hilarious if he lost a carrier to a widow mine? Oh my god. He really should disrupt to that. But Shinobi's taken the whole map again. 82 probes. Has rebuilt a giant economy. Uh, 13 probes on a gas. Maybe not the best, but it's taken the whole map. And, and Ruff is like, I've got this base. And I've got a few mineral patches and a little bit of gas here. He's going to be running dry. So he's going to be able to get to max with this. But he's going to have very little income. And he's actually gone Cyclones. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I, I got to say, guys, Cyclones are really good for running by and sniping Nexi. They're really good for dealing with small numbers of, of, of some units. Against this number of carriers, I don't think Ruff will be able to pull this off. The only way he could do this is if they overcommit into, like, turrets and stuff. Maybe he can run in behind when the interceptors have already launched over here. Run in from the other side and do some lock-ons. Well, there we go. That's going to be a nice start. He just needs to not lose these Cyclones. Oh, the army's coming back for him. Ruff, you got to get these units out of here. He sees that army coming. He's going to try and escape, but it's a little bit too late. The Zealots are going to trap him. He's got to run, 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 run. Oh, Disruptor Shot zoning him. He's got to get out. He's just got to dive. He's got to dive for it. He's going to... Oh, he gets trapped. He's going to take out a few Disruptors there. Two Disruptors barely survive in the red. But overall, I mean, Shinobi there gets a good fight at the tail end of that. Another Thor run by... <laughs> Ruff is so desperate right now. He's like, uh, uh, maybe... Honestly, hats off to Ruff. I don't think he can win this game. He's going to try. He's trying to go Battlecruiser somehow. Even even in such a broke position, Ruff thinks about the tech switch. And I mean, what have we got? We've just got carriers and disruptors. There's 14 carriers, though. He's got plus three armor. He's going to get plus two weapons. And he's got Yamato. He's going to base trade it? Oh, the Battlecruisers have actually flown across the map. So he's going to try and force recalls back. So if Shinobi wants, he can base trade here. 
But Battle Cruisers are pretty good at base trading, I guess. The Widow Mines do take out some of these interceptors. There's 16 Widow Mines. There's lots of Widow Mines on this map, which could clear all the interceptors. Oh, those ones went down. There's no detection on the map. There is no detection on the map for our Protoss player right now. He's building Tempests, which are exceptionally good at sniping Battle Cruisers from afar. But outside of the Disruptors, he has no way of dealing with Widow Mines. Ruff's going to try and mass repair that just to buy time. Anything to buy time here in this base trade. He is taking out the economy of Shinobi. Shinobi... Oh, that's actually it. That's Shinobi's economy. Shinobi had already lost the bases on the right to the Cyclones. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. The Disruptors get the Widow Mines. Oh, no. Ruff's BCs are going to go down. He's got to be careful. Ruff's got to get those BCs out of there. Ruff's got to micro this. He's not microing. He's not watching. Okay, he realizes... Oh, his battle cruisers. They got to teleport. Teleport out. Teleport out. He teleports out. Well done. Oh my god. Okay, so Ruff actually has a base finishing on the left. He's got a little bit of minerals mining there. This command center survived. He lifted it, mass repaired it, and it got out. So he's actually kept a whole bunch of command centers. He can drop mass mule right now. I mean, is there hope? Not. It's still a giant air fleet. Basically, Ruff needs to somehow keep this base alive. Some of these bases mining with mules. And he needs to keep just doing little run buys and, and base trading this. And then in the long run, he can win uh, as long as he has buildings alive, right? If he can extend the scenario. So, so there's a few reasons why. Oh, the Widow Mines need to be more careful, dude. Oh, good spready. He tries to spread them. Does bait out a few more disruptor shots at something. But uh, in the end, that base is going to fall. The Battle Cruisers will answer. Only long distance mining right now for Shinobi. And you know what? Shinobi's so broke on minerals that remember, if, if the Widow Mines do get off a big shot and kill all the Interceptors, they can't rebuild. Interceptors cost, I think it's like uh, 15 minerals. So right now there's enough money for 20 Interceptors to rebuild out of the 112. Only 20 can rebuild with this bank. And with long distance mining, you can't afford much more than that. Carriers take out a base, so do the battle cruisers. Is recall ready? Recall is not. Recall is 50 seconds off. It's a full base trade at this point. And remember that in a long run, you can Yamato a bunch of these air units, teleport to the other side of the map. Evade, evade, Yamato. But he needs to get buildings on the other side. Ruff needs to run SCVs across and start building buildings, or he's just gonna he's gonna lose a base trade. He's trying to build more widow mines right now. But the disruptors have just been too good. Oh, nice little quick burrow there. Oh, he just killed he killed like 20 interceptors. He just killed another 20 interceptors. Oh my god, that's what I'm talking about. With the widow mines, guys. He just killed 40 interceptors. There's not enough money to rebuild all of those. There's enough money to rebuild most, but not all. So he's already limited the damage output in that army with just a couple of widow mine shots. If he can burrow a few more. That would change everything, but they're dying as they pop. And he's losing all those buildings. Ruff is spending too much money on this. He's got to cancel these, these, these units, these upgrades. He's got to fly some buildings and some SCVs across there. He's got one command center starting in the right, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. If that gets found, it'll die in an instant. Oh, he kills the Disruptor! The Disruptor just went down! One more shot. We'll clear those. But he just got the Disruptor. There's 99 Interceptors out. So he's, he's about 13 Interceptors short. Still an incredibly scary force. Now, the Battle Cruisers just teleported to the top right to kill, I think that was just a pylon. Wait, what? There's so many buildings he's got to finish off. Oh, but he's gonna hide. Okay, because he, he wasted his tack jump there. I don't know if that was a Nexus that was building or what. There's still 10 probes. They can long distance mine. That's what Shinobi should be doing right now. But wait, 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 that was his last Nexus. Oh, I thought, I, I didn't realize he lost his Nexus in the main as well. So Shinobi has no money. Shinobi has no money, no ability to mine. Ruff right now is mining from this base. He's going to finish plus three ship weapons, which is hilarious. And these units are hunting for the CC. Will they find it? It's in the corner. So what Ruff needs to do is lift that, float it to a corner. He's, he just scanned as well. Oh, man. Oh, it's going to get found. No, it's not. Shinobi here. Shinobi needs to kill these buildings, dude. Oh my god, Shinobi is looking at all the fresh expansions. Doesn't think of this as an expansion that could be mining because it's so low. But even those couple hundred, couple thousand resources, whatever it is on this base, that's going to be enough to really, excuse me, really help out. And Widow Mines, remember, there's no detection. If he can get rid of the disruptors, there's no way to kill Widow Mines that are burrowed. No way at all. Command Center is on the left. Unfortunately, probes will see that one. So that one's probably going to go down. But Ruff's got a bit of money here. He's going to build a tech lab. Oh, he might be doing the Cloak Banshee. Knowing there's no detection, Cloak Banshee, of course, can, can win base trades by killing all the buildings, but Cloak will wear off, right? It costs energy, so... Battle Cruisers, they're like, all right, we got Tack Jump ready, let's go. It's a little dangerous, because if the Tempests see you, they can just start shooting you down from afar. You might lose a Battle Cruiser before you react. Look at that good movement by Shinobi. Shinobi. Shinobi 1 Kenobi is trying to rush home to defend. 
the battle cruisers do they go for a Yamato? It's a big question. There's no scans right now. Oh, oh, does he go for Yamato? You, rough, 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 rough. You gotta get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, he takes some damage. Oh, there's one carrier here. Okay, so one carrier came in. And that's gonna fall. Yamato takes it out. But the thing is, he's got to evade this army. He still can't beat it. Nine battle cruisers does not beat 13 carriers and five tempers. So he's hiding his battle cruisers. The question is, where does he hide them though? So he, he's gone backwards knowing this probe is here, but that probe might spot him. That probe finds those BCs, that's a problem. So he's trying to hide them. Look, the probe's looking for where those battle cruisers went. Oh, because if the probes locate the army, Shinobi, oh, Shinobi misses the base. The, there's a barracks finishing up there. There's a command center there. A Thor is building a turret and ravens. This is the weirdest choice of units for this situation. Only rough. Would, I would build nothing but widow mines if I was rough. That's all I would build here. But Ruff's like, yeah, I need a raven right now. Snipe his observer in case he has one. He's, he's actually thinking deep into the possibilities. I, I, would, I would do the dumb, simple thing. But Ruff's actually like, Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna lose his buildings though. Wait, 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 Ruff's gonna commit to fighting here? Oh, okay, so Ruff's actually actually gonna commit to fighting here. So he's he's got a Thor, he's gonna have a second, he's gonna have two Thors, a Raven, a few Widow Mines, and a turret, and I mean you know what? I, I think dude 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 he, these are his last buildings up here. He doesn't have too many buildings. Is Ruff actually gonna go across the map? That's I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, and now the Thor dies. The other Thor is not in high impact failure. Oh! Widow mines! Oh, they kill. They kill a few interceptors. Okay, another 20 interceptors go down. So now he's losing his last production. He's got one command center on, on, on the runaway over there. He loses all that. The battle cruisers are going to go for the base trade, but Ruff's being a little slow to start this. He's got to get going with that base trade. If he wants to close this out, he needs to kill that assimilator, get in there, and start banging down buildings. And that will buy him time to land that and do some mules. He's going to land it back in the main. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, yeah, the last place we're going to look, I guess. He's going to try to rebuild some stuff. He's got those three Widow Mines, which could kind of slowly move out and start picking some units off. But for now, the army's already here. I feel like he could have killed about half of this base if he started this earlier. The question is, will he get any Yamatos off this time? I don't think so. He doesn't have any scans, so he's not going to know about it till the Tempest starts shooting. Uh, the Tempest do give away their position a little early. Oh, he goes for it. He gets one. He gets one. He's got to get out. He's got to get out. He's got to get out. Okay. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. He's going for the Yamato. Yamato teleport. Okay. Oh. All right. He does quite a few Yamatos there. He knocks the carry account down by uh, three more, I believe, went down. Don't think he lost a battle cruiser. They did take a lot of damage. So that's the way, like I said, you can wear your opponent down. Oh, I think that. I think he may have. I'm not sure if he spotted the orbital. I think the Widow Mine killed it just before it spotted it. Okay. These battle cruisers clear these probes up. There's still one up there spotting. Ruff's just going to try and drop mules for repair. Very cute. Can't get found, though. If he gets found, that's a big problem, man. It's a big problem. Oh, I think I, I think Shinobi might just close this out. Oh, my God. If these Widow Mines kill Tempests, I will laugh my ass off. There's still two Disruptors that can clear those. He sees him. I think he sees him. Oh, these mules. These mules, I don't know if they're repairing right now. They are. Okay, those mules are touching up these BCs, repairing them a little... No, he's been spotted. Ruff, Ruff, Ruff's been spotted. Oh, I think Ruff's done. I don't think Ruff can win from here, guys. He's, he's forced to fight, but he doesn't have his next round of Yamato ready just yet. So he goes in with the battle cruisers. This has been such a close game. He's focused firing the Tempests. He focused down one, two, three. Fourth Tempest goes down. He's still got a lot of battle cruisers alive. It's only plus two air attack. He gets plus three armor, and battle cruisers do not take a lot of damage from carriers. He's trying to fly out of there. He's trying... Oh, he's going to Yamato. He Yamatos. He Yamatos. He's still got five battle cruisers left. He's actually winning this fight. There's only 13 interceptors left. He killed all the interceptors. The interceptors couldn't rebuild. I thought those carriers were way scary than they were, but I think he actually had even focused down most of the carriers that had a high intercept yield. And rough. Wow. We got to look at the units lost tab while we just process what we just saw. What a comeback. He was like half the supply, but he swaps into battle cruisers, initiates the base trade, refuses to fight front on. And the disruptor comeback from Shinobi, when I thought Shinobi was dead, comes back, cleanses the army with disruptor charge lot, but just loses the base trade. Oh my lord. Only lost four battle cruisers to 19 carriers, five tempests. That's bloody impressive. Yes, the Thors killed some of those carriers. That's still bloody impressive. What a slaughter. What a game. GG, well played, Ruff. You are yet to not impress. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye and good night.